Fun Facts presents the 1955 Porsche Speedster. It is a classic 50s car. It was introduced pre-production 1952. Had a production run through 1957. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. So let's get started now. Porsche's 356 the forefather of the legendary 911 and the kind of classic car that nowadays tops many best cars of all time lists and commands hefty premiums at auctions and showrooms. Its unmistakable design was translated onto subsequent Porsche models and the basic aesthetic ingredients are still visible on the German automakers' cars today, except for the company's SUVs, perhaps. Instead of looking at the broader lineup of the 356 models, we'd like to focus on one model, and it's the most important one, the Speedster. That's because the Speedster is the car that means something special to the US. It's unique to America and one of the first of its kind. We all liked a stripped out sports car, but we can't all drop our savings on one. If we could, we would. And on this rare drop top though, so how much they are up for now in price in 2022. As we all know, this car would become the first Porsche, known as the Porsche 356, but before that, the 356 One Roadster from 1948 was in fact the model that would give birth to the 356 we all know today. It was a 1.1 liter air-cooled flat four engine with 35 horsepower that was borrowed from the Volkswagen parts box with improved power and housed in aluminum body and a very sleek sports car. The 356 1100 with its 1100cc engine would last from 1950 through 54, followed by the 356 1300, a 1300cc engine, which was available from 51 to 53. From 53 would bring another 356 with an even bigger engine, the 1500. Each model was essentially an incremental upgrade with subtle differences and more performance thanks to the bigger motors. There were supervisions, there were super versions of the sum of some cars, and all generations of this car were available in a open top format. The Volkswagen Beetle was designed by Ferdinand Porsche, which goes some way to explain the similarity between the Porsche 356 and the Beetle, as well as the air-cooled flat engine and more than just a few parts. Despite that, the Porsche wasn't cheap. It was a luxury car after all, and it didn't take that long for someone to figure out that there might be a market for a cheaper stripped out version for the States. That person was Max Hoffman, the importer of cars for the US, who made his case successfully and paved the way for the Speedster, an evolution of the American Roadster, which according to Porsche, had an expensive lightweight body. It weighed 350 pounds less than the 356 Coupe, and it had a top speed of 112 miles per hour from its 70 horsepower four-cylinder boxer engine which was impressive at that time. For the Speedster, the brief was for a sub $3,000 sports car and Porsche did the numbers and brought the car to life with the reduced interior equipment and raked windscreen that could be removed and a reclinable rain top. It proved a hit and even James Dean was convinced. Today these cars are upwards of 67 years old and so prices have climbed a little from the initial 3000 
quick search for a regular 356 on Auto Trader reveals that basic cars start around 40,000 and from there prices go north pretty quickly. Many cars on the same site are up for sale more than 200,000, but we wanted to look at a speedster. Harry Lee puts the average value of a 1954 356 Speedster 1500 at around $372,000 with a fair condition model at $262,000 and a concourse model for $635,000. The latest Porsche 356 Speedster advertised as sold on an auction site classic.com was in February of 2021 for 365,000. That was for an unknown mileage car in Fort Lauderdale. In fact, on that site alone, only 67 speedsters of any model year were sold in the last five years. It's quite difficult to find speedsters for sale on any site due to the fact that they are often advertised as simply Porsche 356. In any case, they are pretty rarely up for sale compared to the Porsche 356 other model variants. A Speedster has that heritage, history and uniqueness to the US as well as the stripped out interior with the bucket seats. But if you were just after a pre 911 Porsche, you could do worse than a normal 356. For just the price of a well-specced BMW SUV like the X3 M4OI, you could buy the cheapest Porsche 356 currently on Hemmings, a later model 59,500 for 356B from 1963 in California with a wonderful patina and a rust accompanying an interior in need of a complete refurbish. It still looks great on the outside despite the need for a clean primer and paint job and is full of potential. <clears throat> With the interior and the mechanical work done, the original Porsche may well see you through retirement when you decide to flip it or just as intended a relatively high speed in the California afternoon sun. Open top driving pleasure combined with outstanding driving dynamics. The Speedster variants have been a part of the Porsche com company history since 1952. The combined open top driving pleasure with outstanding driving dynamics. Thanks to its expensive lightweight body, it weighed 160 kilograms less than the 356 coupe and its top speed of 180 kilometers per hour from its 70 PS four cylinder boxer engine was impressive at the time. The exclusive sports car developed for the US market and built only 16 times already featured key elements of the Speedster design with slot in windows for the doors and folding rain cover top and a lightweight bucket seat. It was the US importer Max Hoffman who convinced Porsche there was a market for these cars in America. He requested an inexpensive Porsche with reduced furnishings, costing less than $3,000. In that autumn of 1954, Porsche produced the significantly less expensive version of the 356 Americana Roadster, which included Speedster in the model name for the first time and quickly caused the sensation in the world of motorsports. It combined the sheet steel body of the Cabriolet with a raked windscreen, reduced interior equipment, and a rain top. In the USA, the 356 1500 Speedster would, would cost just $2,995 US dollars and became an instant hit in the sunny coastal states. Hollywood icon James Dean was also an enthusiastic racing driver and chose this purest model, which was dedicated solely to the sheer pleasure of driving. Further generations of the 356 Speedster followed. The model reached its peak in 1957, 
with the 356A 1500 GS Carrera G Its 1.5 liter vertical shaft engine produced 110 PS. It was the first production model from Porsche that reached the top speed of 200 kilometers per hour. So if you found yourself this far into the video, we'd certainly like to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch our video. And if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up because it really does help our channel. If you like our channel, we're going to be doing all the super important cars from the 50s and 60s, the muscle cars. We'll be doing sports cars, hybrid cars, super cars. We'll be doing car shows and autoramas, hot rods. So a little bit of everything for everybody. And we hope to see you when we upload our next video. And always, always, always take good care. Thank you.